again, some really good points to pick up on. But we've been talking and talking about these multinational corporations. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I think Frank Kugan, you've probably talked to more of them than any of us have. What do they think? What do business leaders think here? We don't really hear them come out in favor of reforming corporate tax, the corporate tax system, do we? Right, they all hide away, of course. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's some hope. But let me first say that um, we all agree here on this panel that the um, current tax system is kind of outdated. Uh, we need a digital tax. We have to reform uh, global taxation. Uh, with the start, maybe with the EU, there are certain uh, tax heavens. Uh, you mentioned the five tax heavens before. And I think we have to stop this tax competition. We need maybe a, a basis tax, um, uh, at least in Europe. And then thinking about a similar arrangement um, among the G20 countries. But, you know, when you talk about taxes, it's quite interesting. We always try to point fingers. We always say, oh, you know, we're on the right side. Corporate leaders say everything we do is legal. We just, you know, try to interpret uh, the global taxation system. We make the best out of it. It's our duty because we have shareholders, and, of course, um, we have to save the money of shareholders. Uh, countries are always saying, you know, we do the right thing in our own country. The others are the bad ones. Just think about President Trump. Um, we mentioned um, President Trump, I think, in all sessions. He's like, you know, the, uh, the big elephant in the room in, in all discussions here. Of course, he is undermining um, uh, multilateral thinking, um, America first. When it comes to taxes, actually, quite interestingly, um, he is protecting the likes of um, Amazon, Facebook, and others. Uh, even so, in other circumstances, those companies are his arch enemies, uh, politically, I think, back home in the U.S. But here, uh, suddenly, you know, he has a fight with President Macron on, on digital taxation. Um, I think um, U.S. and France uh, came to a kind of compromise, but we have to see where it goes. But I don't want to talk about President Trump too much. Maybe um, uh, another U.S. president, uh, President um, um, Franklin, um, uh, who said basically that uh, nothing is certain in life, uh, with the exception of deaths uh, and taxes. And uh, you see, you know, uh, just looking to this quote, um, uh, everybody thinks that taxes are something bad. You know, we compare it with deaths and uh, the desperate situation, and uh, the taxman is always um, knocking on the door. So I believe we have to fundamentally change this mindset, saying that taxes are bad. I think taxes are good. We all should pay taxes for the global public good and not just try to avoid taxes on um, you know, the personal income side. You know, uh, we are all paying taxes as individuals, but also on uh, the corporate side and uh, try to um, avoid this kind of um, you know, uh, uh, play of, of hiding here, using a loophole there, and, and putting so much energy on you know, hiding taxes. Think about all these tax officers, all this. Um, you know, tax accountants, big four companies here, you know, they are, uh, uh, they are uh, you know, have to feed um, uh, 10,000, 100,000, uh, millions of tax lawyers all around the world. If you put all this energy in the global public good and say, you know, let's all pay taxes, it's really a, um, a shift um, in our mindset, maybe away from uh, Machiavellian mindset towards altruism. And I think altruism is what we need. So we have to convince corporate leaders that paying taxes is good, and we should avoid uh, this uh, hiding game. And maybe here the politicians um, should come in, uh, of course, in Brussels, um, but also um, on the G20 level. And um, we have to think about um, a framework. Uh, we have to try out um, the tax heavens. We have to think about um, you know, the, the IP um, issue, moving around it to Netherlands and um, um, to Ireland and other places, but then, you know, there are many other places around the world just waiting uh, to attract multinationals. Think about uh, Dubai, um, think about Singapore, Hong Kong, and other places. Interestingly enough, you know, we don't call those countries tax havens because there are some very important geopolitical uh, implications. U.S. needs Dubai and the UAE, um, uh, similarly to Hong Kong and, and Singapore. Hong Kong because China is behind, and I don't want to anger China. So Hong Kong is always a bit of an exception. I know so many people, you know, using the Hong Kong system. Usually they are uh, officially residing there. They're not paying taxes on their global income. They live somewhere else. And, uh, you know, um, people are very creative and always come up with new solutions. So when politicians um, do something and try out um, a loophole or a, like a tax seven, 
uh, go for like more like a global new system, uh, then you know creative people come in and have a new idea. So we're always, uh, I think, one step behind. But uh, I would like to call on um, maybe um, um, three measures. One measure, we have to um, support the OECD. We have to um, support all kind of um, uh, multilateral frameworks. Um, we have to start with the European Union. I think we have to be a good um, example. We have to talk to the five countries um, we mentioned before. We need maybe um, a basic uh, taxation system. Um, and we have to avoid that. Um, Certain um, even European companies, you know, move the headquarters around uh, and, and and just go to the lowest taxation. I, I'm based actually in Switzerland, as you know, it's um, another tax heaven, <laughs> if you wish. Uh, we are not part of the European Union, and there's so many um, companies moving there, and um, Switzerland is doing very well, right? And um, um, uh, they are all bringing employment. It's not just like you know um, a fake headquarter, but uh, a real headquarter, and and uh, Switzerland is doing extremely well. Um, but um, I think we, we have to come to um, uh, a common agreement, at least in Europe. Secondly, we have to call on the corporate leaders to, to, to stop uh, this uh, game of hiding taxes and finding loopholes. Maybe here we need a, a new framework where um, business leaders can sit together with government leaders and um, um, uh, find an agreement where maybe uh, on a first on a voluntarily base, corporate leaders say, okay, we want to support uh, the global public good. We want to be entrepreneurs in the global public interest. And uh, we pay taxes because paying taxes is good. It's not bad. It's something which is um, a moral duty even, right? And um, thirdly, um, I think we should also um, include all citizens around the world. There's so much of hate um, between the corporate sector and, and the private sector. Uh, so we have to um, include um, all citizens here. and. Um, say that uh, you know we are all living in one world and uh, we all should pay taxes. So that shows just a few points. And um, um, finally, I think I'm optimistic. There is some movement. I think um, the OECD is doing a good job. And um, uh, now um, we, we have to come to real results. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, your, your comments about the attitude to tax uh, it brings to mind that quote, and I can't at the moment remember who said it, but taxes are the price we pay for civilization. Who was it that said that? Anyway, we've all heard it. It bears repeating. Uh, I mean, I think this point about kind of the culture of the cultural attitude to taxation is really important. But let, let me just follow up and push you a bit on that. What do the corporate leaders you talk to say when you say the things you've just told us, when you press that, impress that upon them? I mean, can you name... Can you share with us a single corporate leader who said, "Yes, you're right. I will, you know, I will try and work, <laughs> work in this right. way." Right. Of course, there are a few examples. You know, take Warren Buffett for example. But he's not a typical entrepreneur, right? It's not a so let's say a typical he's a fortune. He's not a financier, CEO, right? Yeah. It's it's different. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> when you talk to corporates, uh, they might uh, go for uh, nice statements globally, and uh, you know when. Um, um, uh, around um, uh, in Davos and other places, but uh, then uh, back home, I think um, you know they just do the opposite. Uh, that's really the point, and I'm always um, wondering: Do we need uh, to kind of um, force them to pay taxes? Do we do we uh, need uh, a new instrument and say you know um, uh, go uh, company by company? Maybe there's like a court, uh, a global court, looking into the issue and said you know. Um, and I'm, I'm not mentioning names of companies here, but um, to go really company by company and say, you know, uh, is it fair what you're doing? Are you hiding? And, and pushing them, indeed. I think we need to push them. We can't just hope for the altruistic mindset. Continuing with this, this theme, uh, since 